gentlemen, in the ring at this time, your NGWA heavyweight champion, Big Mama. Coming in the ring, signed by Richard Ashley. All right, we've got our first ever defense of the uh, heavyweight championship here. And, and just as, as Max Steele just mentioned, hometown talent right here on both sides. Plowboy and Big Bubba. I, I don't know. I'm a little, I'm a little uh, hurt by this. I, Pierce, I, I could have I could make an argument this should be my match, but uh, you know, it is what it is, and I'll get a chance at the title eventually. Well, well, I, I mean, you you have a legitimate you have a legitimate uh, gripe. Let's go. Absolutely. Let, let, let's go back. Let's go back last month. It was supposed to be me against Plowboy. Luscious Luke and Plowboy. That was that was the scheduled match. Unfortunately, family circumstances happened. Plowboy wasn't able to be at the show. So instead of just giving me my rifle title, they give a shot to Big Bubba. And in fact, you eliminated. Your former partner in the first round. I did. I eliminated him. He was out. His dreams of being NGWA champion were gone. And that was that was that was supposed to be it. NGWA management gave him a second chance. He come in, he made good on that second chance, he got to come back, he was reinstated. Now I prepared for Plowboy, I got Big Bubba. You could say that no matter what, hey, I was re I know Big Bubba like the back of my hand, and uh, there's no need to prepare for him in my case. So I'm not using that as an excuse. Uh, my manager turned on me, distracted me, and I got beat. I got pinned. But Pierce, this. this this uh, monstrosity of of uh, these two people high fiving, hugging, clapping for each other for the heavyweight title. That's uh, that's what that's what kills this for me. Oh, well. Uh... And. Uh, Really, when are you going to get two people that wear overalls against each other? Really? Well, you don't see that every day. Uh, certainly not. I... When's the last time you saw um, two men in overalls against each other? You know what? It, it, I, this may be the first time I've ever seen two men in overalls on opposite sides of of a match. Uh, I, I'm thinking back, you know... With, there have been many wrestlers that wore overalls. But they were always on the same team, correct, Pierce? Well, yes, they were either on the same team or in a different territory. So we're making history here at NGW in this title match. Well, I, you know what, I guess you could say that. I, I mean, and they, you know, this is a hometown. You know, the, these guys are, are both from this area. This is how the people know them. Uh... You don't see a match like that every day either, without even without the overalls. This is this is a marquee match. I get that. I can see that. I, I get that point. That it's a marquee match. It's one. I guess you could call it a dream match for the people in Two County. I, I get that. Because where else would you think you would ever see Plowboy against Big Bubba? We've we've had many. Big matches with uh, quite quite a bit of significance here in our during the relaunch here of the NGWA. Would you say this might even be a uh, 
student versus teacher type match because you know growing up in Chattooga County Plowboy had to go to the Gore Community Center or where, wherever Big Bubba may have been in action when he was a younger gentleman and uh, probably had to see Big Bubba in action oh no doubt no doubt about it no question there and uh, well I guess I'll I'd, I guess I could put this question to you. I mean, as you know, uh, your own sentiment, uh, your own sentiment about this match aside, uh, do you think that that either of these two men might might uh, might not be uh, going out the same way against their opponent as they would if it was someone they they didn't like? You mean if it was me against either one of these gentlemen here? Well, that's yes. I believe they that they wouldn't they wouldn't have to worry about shaking my hand or clapping for me. I guarantee you that. Well, the uh, you know this is for the biggest prize. Oh wow, now that was a heck of a right hand. That was a haymaker. <laughs> that was, I'm surprised that. Uh, wow, these are two tough men. Yeah, I would have been, uh, well, they'd been carrying me out of there. I, 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 and you, you hear the, you hear the crowd right now, Pierce. I, I think they're, they're a little complex or perplexed or whatever that $10 word is to, uh, they don't know who to cheer for. Well, they like both of these men. And uh, this is the most quiet. Uh, this is the most quiet that I've ever heard uh, NGWA fans. Uh, because they don't know who to. I, I believe the issue is no disrespect to either man. I believe that the issue is they don't know who to cheer for. They don't want to see either one of them lose or get a get a uh, injury or any of the other things that could happen in a match. Nice point. Oh, oh my goodness! Uh, you see Big Bubba going downstairs and catching that knee. You know, you you can be friends, you can be friendly for a long time, but once you realize that your title, as far in the case of Big Bubba, or your chances of being the champion are going down a drain, the friendship and the respect starts. Uh, Exit in the match a little bit, and I believe uh, I believe self preservation kind of kicks in there. Oh, absolutely! Well, self preservation is uh, is considered the the highest law of mankind. You just it just kicks in. It's like it's like if you put John Wayne John Wayne in a in, in a gunfight with uh, with uh, Clint Eastwood. Who do you want to win? Ah, well, I mean, uh, do you want to really see the one of them get killed? Well, no, uh, no, not at all. Uh, certainly not. Uh, I'd, I'd be dreading the the. Uh, okay, Bruce, Bruce Lee, and uh, Bruce Lee, and and uh, Chuck Norris. I know back in the day they fought and trained together, but as a fan, do you really want to see the one of them lose? Well, certainly not. Certainly not. Okay, in the wrestling business, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior. Who was you a fan of more, Hulk Hogan or Ultimate Warrior, when you had to choose? During that time, I I really I liked them both. I didn't. I didn't. I mean, of course, Hogan been around longer, but the Ultimate Warrior, that was his time too. You know. Uh, so you, but you see my point. I it, do. It's it's. Uh, it's it's really it's really hard to have a uh, two people in the ring, even though they're competing for the richest prizes in in GWA. They have to uh, set all that aside to. Uh, oh my! One of those big chops that uh, you you were on the receiving end last month. Them chops hurt. I ain't gonna lie. That that was that was painful. My chest is still numb from them chops. All these morons out in the crowd that want to holler weak at a chop. Line them up in the ring and let them get one of those chops. They won't.
be a long week after that. Oh, Plowboy with uh, with Bubba backed into the corner, and uh, I don't believe he's going to even consider a clean break. Oh, Bubba threw him off. Bubba pushes him off. Here he comes back. Talking about relentless, Plowboy is just on the top of things. He's like well, he's like a bulldog. He's not going to stop. He's going to latch hold. Oh. He, nobody home that time. Well, speaking of Plowboy, nice belly to belly there. Uh, I believe the foot was the on the rope. Foot's ah, Bubba's saying that was a three count for sure, but because that's one of that's one of Bubba's finishing maneuvers there. You know, Plowboy, Plowboy. This this title means a great deal to Plowboy. He was eliminated in the first round by uh, Stu Valentine. Ah, oh, that's it. Number three count. Well, that, wh what a nice match. And successful for our champion, Big Bubba.